Welcome to another Tasker 101 tutorial video. This is lesson number five, variables, which is a fun subject, can be a little complex, but uh, hopefully I can break it down for you in a way that makes sense. Um, we did touch on variables a little bit uh, using the some of the Tasker built-in variables, both with uh, scene gestures, using the stroke variable, and then also in the... Uh, lesson on context uh, when we used a time variable. Um, so variables, before we actually get to play around with Tasker here, there's just a lot of basic factual information you need to know. This is the boring part, this is the, the lecture part of learning, but uh, it's important that you sort of you know, have a decent understanding of variables and how they work inside Tasker before we actually start playing with them. And then as we play with them, It'll all become more and more clear the more you use them. But why is it called a variable? Well, it's called a variable basically because the data varies. That is, it can be changed over time. So the var a variable might have one uh, set of data inside of it now, and later may have a different set of data based on changes. So in Tasker, there are built-in variables. Uh, uh, there are variables that are built into Android and therefore in, into Tasker as well. And then there are also variables that you can create on your own. Or another way to say it, you can make your own variables whatever you want them to be. Now here are a few things that are really important to know. Variables must start with the percent uh, character. That is how you know it's a variable. It starts with the percent symbol. Var variables are case sensitive. So percent and then capital E-R-I-C and percent lowercase e-r-i-c are two different variables because they are case sensitive. Variables in Tasker must contain at least three letters or numbers and it can be a combination of the two. Variables can have an underscore in the middle but not at the beginning or the end. So if you want to use an underscore for example to separate uh, two words or abbreviation of words you're using within a variable to help you remember what that variable is, you can do that. But you can't start or end it with an underscore. You can only have it in the middle. If you have uh, one or more capital letters in the variable, it makes it a global variable. So it holds permanently and can be accessed by any other task or task and will maintain its value until it is changed or tasker is uninstalled. So if you have a capital letter inside the variable, that makes it uh, a permanent, global, universal. That means uh, other apps could potentially read the variable. And the variable will stay what it is forever until you uh, uninstall Tasker until it's removed or you change it uh, with Tasker. But it will hold. If you use all lowercase letters, that makes the variable local meaning it only holds its information until the current task or scene it's being used in is ended. An example, a quick example of that is if you have a task that generates a random number and then does something based on that random number inside that task, once that task is done, it doesn't need to hold that because the next, next time you run that task, it's going to start over and generate a new random number. So in that case, you could use lowercase um, because the variable doesn't need to stay whatever random number it chooses. You don't need that number for any other task or any other profiles any other, and any other, uh, or any other app or anything. You just need it in that one task until that task is finished and then it can be basically erased. So that's what you would use lowercase uh, letters for. Something that a variable that only needs to hold its information while that task or scene is being run. So that's, that's your basic information. Hopefully I didn't bore you too much with that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a task and we're going to uh, use variables. So in uh, our previous lessons we created uh, two different tasks. One that sets our volumes and display for night when we go to bed. And one that sets our volumes and display for morning when we wake up. And we've created different ways to uh, trigger these. Um, using variables in this lesson where you're going to... Uh, create a way to uh, toggle from one to the other. So we're going to create a new task. 
we're going to call that task. Uh, I'm going to put a 101 on the front. That's just so I remember what it's for. 101 toggle sound. So it's a new task. I'm going to click the plus button. I'm going to choose variables. And in this case, we're going to choose variable add. Variable add. Now we're going to create our own variable, and this is a variable we want to hold its uh, value when this task is over, so that it keeps that value for the next time you trigger this task. So we want to use a capital letter, so I'm going to make it easy and call it toggle sound. And the value, this is the value that's going to be added is we set it for uh, variable add was what we selected so the value is how much you want to add to it we're going to add one to it and then our wraparound is going to be two so uh, wraparound what that means is when it gets to this number it goes back to the beginning and the beginning value is zero now this is a new variable uh, when you have when tasker uh, encounters a new variable inside of this um, task, in other words, nothing's been assigned to it yet, then it will automatically assign it zero. So it will assign it zero, it will add a one to it, and zero plus one will be one. The next time it goes through, it'll be one already, it'll add a one to it, which will make it one plus one is two, well, two is the wraparound. So when it gets to two, it'll go back to zero. So we do that, and let's see, we're going to go back here, and now we're going to go to plus, and we're going to go to tasker, and let's see. Um, that's not what I wanted. Task is what I wanted. And then we're going to go to perform task. And we're going to click the little magnifying glass because that will pull up all of our tasks. We're going to say uh, 101 day volume. And we're going to come down here and say if. And now we could type in our variable or we can hit the variable button and find it in here. You see it's right there. We just created it. Percent toggle sound. And we'll say zero. And then we'll go back. And then we'll add another one. Plus task. Perform task. We're going to hit the magnifying glass. And this one we're going to choose is 101 vol night. And we're going to say perform that task if. And then we're going to hit the little uh, tag. Find our variable. Toggle sound is one. That's already in there. The default is always matches, which is a little squiggly line. If you hit that, you could change it. We've seen that before. But right now we're saying matches. It matches as a squiggly line. So, right now, as you can see, what's happening is the variable, it's, decide, it's setting the variable by adding the value 1, so it's going to set it to either 1, or if it's already 1, set it back to 0. And it's going to, if it is 0, it'll make, it'll trigger the day volume levels. If it's 1, it'll trigger the night volume. Um, we're going to do something a little bit extra in this that we didn't do before. We're going to, uh, eh, let's do it this way, we'll go back. So this is really the end of this task. We're going to go back and let's pull up our volume night and let's add a task 
and we're going to add an alert. And we're going to add flash. Flash is a very um, quick little, you see it sometimes in apps and things on your Android phone, little tiny box that pops up. And so we're going to add night sound activated. And we're going to go back. We're going to use our day volumes. We're going to go at the plus, add alert, flash, and then day sound activated. This way, when we trigger either our day volumes or our night volumes, we'll know because we'll get a little flash. Really short, really quick, just so we know what's been triggered. So let's see if this toggle sound works. We're going to go back to our home screen and go over here where we have all of our little tasker buttons. We're going to long press. We're going to choose add shortcuts. And we're going to go down and find the tasker shortcuts. There we go, task shortcut. Uh, we're going to go one on one toggle sound. I do have to choose an icon, so I'll press the icon button. Choose built in icon to make it easy. And for this one, let's choose. Oh, I don't know. Let's just choose a little Android guy. So, here's our little Android guy. I'll move him over here so you can see him. Hopefully you can see him. It's kind of gray. So, uh, what's going to happen when we press this? It's going to change things. Let's uh, change my volumes right now to all to the middle. So we'll know. We'll be able to see what happens. So when we press it the first time. So you can see. It said day sound activated. And if we look, you see auto brightness is on, and our sound levels have all been raised. If we tap it again, see it flash night sound activated. And if you look, auto brightness has been turned off, and our volume levels have been lowered. Tap it again, day sound activated. So in this way, we've created a toggle. So when we tap this, it does one and does the other. So if you wanted to set this up so that when you go to bed at night, you tap it and it sets your night settings and you know when you wake up in the morning, the next time you tap it, it's going to toggle to your day settings. And in case you forgot to tap it at one point in time, so it got off, you'll know because you'll get the little notification. Oops. You get the little notification at the bottom to let you know what settings it's doing. So you just tap it again to do the other settings. So I want to show you uh, another way of doing this. The the way we did it the first time is uh, probably the most efficient, but there is an, another way you could do it. So let's go plus, and let's I'm going to make it one o oh, one. I'm just going to say. Hog sound word. And we're going to say plus. And on this one, we are going to go to variables. Very well set. And we're going to choose a name. Let's see. We'll make this, we'll make it match to make it easy. Tog sound var two. And we're going to say day.
Okay, so this is one of those circumstances where as I'm creating a task, I'm trying to, my brain is, wheels are turning and trying to figure out the best way to, to do what it is I'm trying to do. And I don't think this is going to be the best way. So, uh, well, I mean, we can leave this like it is. We're going to uncheck the if statement, though. And we're just going to set sound, tog sound var to date and go back. I'm going to add another one. Variable. Variable set. And we're going to say uh, same variable tog sound var. And we're going to set it to night. Now we're going to uh, trigger our to task. You know, plus task, perform task. And we're going to magnifying glass to find it. We're going to go 101 day vol. We're going to go plus task, perform task. And we're going to go 101 ball night and back. So we have our two potential uh, tasks to trigger. We have our two potential variables. So now we're going to say, well, where do we want to go? Let's go plus. We're going to go task. And go to, I'm not going to worry about the number right now. We're going to say if, and then for the variable, we're going to choose that same variable, talk sound very matches day. And we're going to add another one, task, go to. And we're going to choose the same variable, talk sound var, if it matches night. So maybe you can see where we're going with this. We have a way to set the variable today or way to set the variable tonight. We have our two tasks to be performed and then we have numbers to uh, tasks to go to certain parts of the task depending on what the variable is currently set at. So we're going to move that to the top, move that next. And actually, we can probably eliminate one of these as I'm thinking through it again. This is the way Tasker works. It's, uh, it's like always, it's a puzzle. You're always piecing together and sometimes I'll create a profile or a task like this and then two weeks later I'll be driving down the road and I'll, it'll suddenly hit me, oh, here's a better way I can do this. So it really does work that way. So uh, we're going to say if, we're going to move this down because I don't think we're going to need that. If the current uh, variable is day, then we'll have it go to, we need to have a, let's see, let's go here. Night. Just looking at what we have here. Let's add a stop real quick. Um, task stop. And move it up here. Move that one more. And I think night. That should work. Uh, we can get rid of this. We don't need, in this situation, we don't need this. If I haven't shown you before, if you hold on this, long press on it here, it'll bring up the different options and we're going to cut it so it's gone. So basically what we're saying is if, if the task is day, then we're going to tell it to skip down to number five. So 
So let's change that. So it would then skip down to number five. It'll perform the volume night task and then set the uh, variable to night. So the next time it comes in here, it'll see if it is day. And it's not. It's night right now. So then it'll go just move right down to the next task, which is change it to day and perform this task, which is day volumes. And it'll stop. Next time you come in, it'll be back to day, so it'll skip down. So theoretically, this should work. Let's test it and see how it goes. Um, let's go ahead and give it an icon because we know we're going to have to in order to put it on the home screen. Built in icon. Um, who knows? Let's do penguin face. I don't know why. But it looks good to me. So now we're going to go back to our home screen. We're going to add a new task. Add shortcuts. And then go down to task or task shortcut. Select that. And we're going to go to the one we just created, which is right there. And it's pointed out for us since it's the last one we worked with. We're going to click that. You can see the little penguin head. So we're all set. So there's the penguin. So now let's see if this works. See our, our brightness is currently set to auto. We're going to put our volume levels in the middle. We're going to take this off auto and put it in the middle. And let's see if we tap Mr. Penguin Head. Day sound has been activated. And if you look, you see auto brightness has been turned on and our volumes have been turned up. If we tap it again, night sound has been activated. Auto brightness is turned off and the brightness was lowered to the bottom. And our volume levels are lowered to the bottom. Tap it again. Day sound activated. Auto brightness on and volume levels lifted up. So it's really two different ways of doing the same thing. Uh, in both of these, we created a toggle task, which toggled between two different tasks. And the first one, toggle sound, we just used a variable that uh, used a number and added to the variable. And when it got to 2, it wrapped back around to 0, so it would always either be 0 or 1, because if it's 1 plus 1, that's 2, so it goes back to 0. And uh, we toggled, then we chose the task based on the number. And the second one, we set the variable at a particular word. If it was that word, then it skipped to something else and changed it to a different word. So that when it went back the second time, it would, it would uh, uh, trigger the other task. So two different ways to accomplish the same thing. Um, and I, I've said it a lot, I'll say it again, within Tasker there are always multiple ways to uh, accomplish things. You're, you're trying to find usually A, the easiest that you can actually figure out, and B, the one that's the most efficient, the one that uses the least amount of uh, task and resources. Um, I mean, none of these are going to be using that much anyway, but still, it's just good practice to get into. Uh, try to find a the easiest, simplest, shortest, most efficient way to do things. Um, but that's lesson five variables. That pretty much uh, uh, covers it. Hopefully uh, that made sense to you guys and gals out there. And if you have any questions or anything, feel free to post them down below. Um, also, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Join the Tasker Google Groups. Um, it's a great place to post questions uh, as well and get uh, expert help from... Lots of uh, uh, tasker, tasker experts, many of whom are even way more advanced than me. So uh, you can use that as a great resource. And uh, if you like, like these uh, tutorials, click the like button, subscribe, share with people you know. And uh, until next time, have a great day.